Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Frank Rock. This is the House of Orange Sports Channel coming at you once again on this Championship Monday. But before we get into that, the balls get another win in the recruiting column as offensive lineman Doug Douglas Utu of Bishop Gorman in Las Vegas has made it official. He has committed to Tennessee. He gives Tennessee, uh, you know, according to what you look at, he seems to be pretty much a consensus top. 50 national player in the country. He's listed as an offensive tackle. He can, and I think from what I'm reading, he is being recruited to play inside. So Tennessee's building a hell of a an offensive line recruiting class this year. You've got Nick Moore in the fold. You had Ogamura in the fold. Now you add Douglas Utu. And this was one coming into the weekend when I did the preview. I said, and you know, Going on reading on him, he's he's a guy that didn't do a lot of interviews, didn't do a lot of talking, so you know didn't really know where teams kind of stood. But based on what I'm reading, Austin Price Volquest.com does state that um, he did notify the coaches before he left on Sunday that he would be committing, and then a day later he goes official and does it. You know, enough cannot be stated about the recruiting job, also of Nico. Nico, I. I always have trouble. I'm a, I'm a Liava. I'm a Liava. I think that's how it is. Anyhow, Nico, the job he's done recruiting, Travis Smith Jr. talked about it yesterday in the interview with Austin Price. If you get a chance to watch that, and he just thought, man, I was surprised he knew my name. He checked on me all weekend. Utu said the same. They went bowling. He said Nico was checking on him all weekend because Nico's going to be the quarterback next year when these guys get there. He wants the best around him. So he's recruiting as well. He's doing his job. You know, I know they've been on, and of course, George McIntyre's been on some of these guys as well as he'll be coming in next year. But um, the fact that you add Utu, now, you've got three inside guys. They're going to need interior offensive linemen with all the guys that they are losing this year. Um, these are big commitments. These are big. And, um, you know, cannot – Glenn Ellerby, I thought, last year, did an excellent job recruiting, did not get the credit he deserved for that. This year, uh, in both 24-7 and on three right now, Tennessee's ranked with the 12th rated recruiting class. They have 14 commitments in this class. The big ones, that's going to be, you know, where do they go from here? And I think coming out of this weekend, I projected a lot of these guys who visited that I think will be Vols. I think Travis Smith Jr. is going to be a Vol. In his interview with Austin Price, he talked about Tennessee and Georgia. Austin Price said that uh, people are saying out insisting Alabama's in it. Like he's saying, the consistent in this, this goes back to when I was covering the Chaz Lanier uh, portal recruitment. The consistent in it is Tennessee. I like Tennessee's chances with Travis Smith. Shady Hayward, he says it's down to South Carolina, Florida, Tennessee. He will announce on his birthday on July 27th. I like Tennessee in that one. Onus Conanbanning, I hope I pronounced that right. Um, he come out liking his visit. Uh, you know, can Tennessee hold that momentum? That one's gone back and forth depending on his visits. But I think I feel good about Tennessee's chances to get him. I feel real good about Tennessee's chances of getting Trey Petit, Bryce Jenkins. Um, I'm trying to think who else visited this weekend. I know I'm forgetting some guys. But, uh, you know, back to Utu. Number 53 overall, according to On3, the number two interior offensive lineman. He goes about 6'6", 300, depending on which site you look at. One may say 6'5", 315, one 6, 6, 300. He does have the potential to play tackle. Now, a thing that's big with him, to me, Bishop Gorman was rated the number one team in the country in high school last year. From what I've read, they'll probably be preseason number one as well. Going into this year, with this being his senior year, he will have now been a four-year starter on one of the biggest powerhouse programs in college football. Um, and, of course, you know, one thing that helps there, Cedric Tillman played there. Marcus Nash, former Tennessee Vault, is a uh, coach on that staff as well. So, you know, these guys are, uh, are reaching out, doing their job as well. And I appreciate these former Vols doing their part to help get there. I, I went on a little bit of a tangent on one of my videos about how there's been some former Vols who've not done Tennessee a lot of favors. One's down in the middle Tennessee area. 
Um, and I remember one back years ago that was a former ball receiver not doing them any favors in a recruitment against Auburn as well. May have been the only time, but still yet. That's still, to me, you know, the school that's gave you your opportunity, especially if you played there four years. I would expect a little bit more out of that. And, uh, you know, I know at the same time some of these guys, they're going to support the player. They've formed a relationship or what have you. But I think ultimately they'd be really happy with them going to UT. So, you know, they've had to put them in that, that direction. Now, the big thing with Tennessee and their offensive line, you've got three in the fold. you got three good ones in the fold for that interior. Where do you finish that moving forward? David Sanders Jr. is the big one. Visited Ohio State. I mean, everything I've read on it said the visit went well. I would have expected nothing less on that front. I still like Tennessee's chances in the end based on everything I've read, based on the amount of times he's been to Knoxville, based on distance from home over in North Carolina. I think Tennessee is the consistent in that one. And again, based on how many times he's been to Knoxville, so many guys on him. And I'm sure there's you know guys from other schools on him as well. But uh, when it's all said and done, whether he commits in July – August or whenever it is, I like Tennessee's chances. Is now football is in a dead period, so official visits, uh, from what I've read, they cannot start happening again until actual football season. So you're you're over two months away till visits can happen again. For Tennessee, I think they've done all they could do this month to get some of these big guys in the fold, and I think they've done an excellent job. I think a lot of this class will come out of this month, that there'll be a lot of them that come out of it. Of course, you know, guys who are already committed, we've had numerous ones of those who visited this month as well. But they've had, a, you know, some big visits. And, of course, they'll go into the fall as well with uncommitted guys. You know they'll be swinging for the fences on that one as well. And then, of course, you've got to leave room once the football season's over, which is a long ways away, obviously, for portal recruiting as well because you know you're going to need guys in that but the way this class is setting up if you finish with your big targets now is it realistic to expect them to finish with all of them i don't think it is but will they finish i i I think we'll be happy when it's all said and done i do expect this to be a top 10 class this year and uh it's just more it's just more talent in the cupboard more or less it's gonna be up to this coaching staff to coach them up that's that's where it comes in at this point, but uh, I'm going to wrap up on that one. Just recorded a little bit earlier, national championship primer for tonight with Tennessee baseball. Hope seeing the live chat around 11 o'clock tonight. Hopefully we'll be, uh, we'll all be happy and celebrating tonight, but if not, we'll, uh, we'll console one another in here, I guess as well, but uh, have a great rest of your day. Frank Rockhouse, Vern Sports Channel, and last but most certainly not least, Go Vols. <laughs>